July 5th, 1943. World War II had been underway for a year and a half. There was perhaps no place on earth farther from the fighting than the Oklahoma Panhandle, and there was no indication that Boys City, the seat of Oklahoma's westernmost county, was about to get into the war. It was the Cimarron County Courthouse that was the cause of the battle, well, that and a lost bomber crew. At just about midnight, a B-17 bomber rumbled off the runway at the Army Air Base in Dalhart, Texas, 45 miles south. The crew had orders to bomb the practice range at Conlin, Texas. At about 12.30, when the crew spotted the four lights on the four sides of the Cimarron County Courthouse, they knew they'd found their target and dropped six bombs on it. Time Magazine later reported the citizens acted as most civilians who have never been bombed before. They ran like hell, in no particular direction. The attack might have gone on longer if a power company employee hadn't had the presence of mind to pull the master switch and plunge the entire town into an involuntary blackout. The practice bombs dropped that night contained very little explosive, and the raid was mostly described in terms of what was almost damaged. One bomb fell near an apartment where a family was sleeping. Another just missed the west wall of the First Baptist Church. But some of the bombs, and even some of the craters, are preserved to this day as a reminder of that hot July night when Boy City became the only town in the continental United States to be bombed during World War II. I'm Charles Newcomb with Centennial Stories.